It is very advantageous to use X parameters when you don't have a circuit model or when a part from a vendor doesn't have a real good model. Sometimes you buy, you call the vendor and they give you a model that is not good enough. So this would be a really great way to get an accurate model by using the measured X parameters of the device. Vendor table models, sometimes they give you a table models with the impedance extracted at one frequency and then you ex extrapolate and the extrapolation is not good enough and it's not accurate. X parameters allow you to measure the device nonlinear characteristics at all frequencies and power sweep and they are very accurate. So IC design houses can measure or simulate the X parameters of their chips and the measured or simulated results fully represents their design with full IP protection. They can share their designs for higher up system verification and again they don't have to disclose their circuit design IP. So how do you use these measured results in ADS now? Basically what happened is once the NVNA extract these nonlinear measurements of a component the NVNA software generates an MDIF file that contains these nonlinear measurements in an X parameters format. From the Knowledge Center, you can access and download an ADS design kit and import these measurements and generate a polyharmonic distortion model, PHD model using that design kit that can be simulatable in ADS then you can use the model in ADS and you can you can use it with harmonic balance you can use it with circuit envelope you can use it with Ptolemy system simulator so here's an example you have measured X parameters for amplifier 1 and amplifier 2 that were generated separately from the NVNA we cascade these two components together and in ADS we simulate the cascaded amps. ADS predicts accurately the nonlinear behavior of the cascaded structure including the mismatch between them, the harmonics, all the amplitude and phases at all frequencies very accurately. It does it at the fundamental frequency and all the harmonics. But now you might ask, how do I know that this cascaded simulation results in ADS are accurate? So basically what we did is we took these cascaded amplifiers and we combined them together in the NVNA and we measured the X parameters of the cascaded. So we can compare the measurement of the cascade versus the simulation in ADS of the cascaded structure. Here are the results. This slide shows these simulation versus measured results of the cascaded amplifiers at the fundamental frequency, the second harmonic and the third harmonic. This fundamental line, this is the second harmonic line, and this is the third harmonic line. So you can see it is very clear that the X parameters method completes the puzzle and generate highly accurate nonlinear model of components under large drive and mismatch. Look at the results. The second harmonic, this is the reflected wave magnitude, this is the phase. Both measured and simulation are very, very accurate and very close together. This is the third harmonic amplitude and phase. This is the transmitted signal. This is P in, P out. And you can see on top of each other the measured and the simulation. This is the second harmonic and this is the third harmonic. And these are the phase of the transmitted wave of the fundamental of the second and the third harmonic. So working with this model in ADS is identical in having the actual component being measured in the lab. This is an example of ADS circuit envelope simulation used 
to extract the third order intermodulation distortion IM3 and the third order intercept TOI versus power using measured X parameters and generated PhD model for ADS. It's a simple setup. You put the device under test here and you put the sources, the two tones in envelope and you can extract the IM3s and the TOI, third order intercept versus power. And here's another example of using ADS circuit envelope to generate ACPR with channel power and power added efficiency. And notice right here it's the nonlinear behavior or spectral regrowth at the output right at the edge of the channel which can be improved by linearization techniques in ADS as shown on the next page. This is an example of how the digital pre-distortion linearization design guide in ADS was used to linearize a PA that was measured and represented by its X parameters model file and PhD model. So in summary, we can see the X parameters are the mathematically correct superset of S parameters for nonlinear devices under large signal conditions. The X parameters can be accurately measured by automated set of experiments on the new Agilent NVNA instrument. Together with the PhD framework, the measured X parameters can be used in ADS to design nonlinear circuits. So all the pieces of the puzzle are available and they fit together now. Unlike some of the other ad hoc models, this is really an accurate scientifically proven approach for which there is now a measurement instrument for the first time that captures all these nonlinearities, amplitude, phase, at all harmonics and with mismatches and uses these data directly in ADS for simulation and characterization. Thank you for listening and I hope you have enjoyed this small presentation on the NVNA and X-parameter simulation in ADS. Thank you.